so we're about halfway through week six right now and the weather hasn't been super great. I know that seems deceptive given the fact that it's currently sunny outside, uh, but that was not the case earlier in the week. Uh, but it doesn't matter because I got a trainer. Uh, we got a few comments on the videos saying that the Nordic track bike that we had, while great for general exercise, probably wasn't the best choice for training for something like Leadville. So last week we were able to sell it and just pay for the Wahoo kicker outright. Um, so really excited about that. So yeah, those of you that guessed a uh, trainer or a kicker, congratulations. Uh, chapeau, I believe is what the cyclists say. Um, yeah, but anyways, really, really stoked about the kicker. I uh, got all this Wahoo stuff anyway, so it pairs seamlessly with it. Uh, the head unit can control it. Um, my heart rate monitor, all of that, you know, it all syncs up together. One happy little Wahoo world. And I also got on Swift. Um, the head unit that I have could, you know, control the kicker and I could do an FTP test through that, but honestly, Swift seems like a lot more fun. Um, so I signed up for that and it'll allow me to do, you know, virtual group rides. It's got preloaded workouts and training plans. Uh, I've been doing a little bit of research on that. I'm gonna hopefully have a plan picked out that I can stick to and see if that kind of helps me, you know, settle into my training and get more serious about it. Uh, but yeah, Zwift, also super neat. Spent a few days trying to figure that out and so really came in clutch over the past couple of days where it's been kind of drizzly and gross outside. Um, so yeah, I did my FTP test that was kind of a kicker. <laughs> uh, it was the abbreviated one, which is only 45 minutes, and about five minutes from the end, I ended up choking on water, uh, so that happened. <laughs> but yeah, I was able to establish a baseline for my FTP at 118 watts. Um, so yeah, if you guys want to ride on Zwift with me, I'll throw up my information uh, so you can add me on there. Keep in mind, my FTP is only 118 watts, so I will be riding pretty slowly for a while until I get better. So when we were looking at the website, Wahoo offers uh, the option to purchase a desk and a fan. However, we are balling on a budget, so Matt found some scraps in the garage and graciously decided to build me a desk to hold my laptop or iPad while I'm riding. Uh, he covered it in a ton of Gorilla Glue Flex Seal paint. So it's got kind of a rubbery finish, which is great. It'll grip my stuff, hold it so it doesn't fall off. It's on sliders so I can move it closer to my bike or further away while I'm riding. Um, and we also bought a Lasco fan from Amazon and it's basically a jet stream, uh, which is great because I don't know, I guess I didn't anticipate getting so sweaty on a trainer, but it this is a serious workout. So yeah, fan was like 60 bucks, money well spent, and the table ended up being, I think around $30 just from the cost of paint. We had all the scrap material in the garage, so saved a ton, ton of money by doing that. So yeah, the fan is an absolute must for indoor training, and the sweat guard also an absolute must if you're trying to protect the metal parts on your bike, like the screws, spacers, bolts, things like that. One of the cool features about Zwift is that I can link it to my Strava and go on Strava and map out a route and then upload it to my custom workouts on Zwift. So, I mapped out the Leadville Trail 100 mountain bike race on Strava and exported it to my custom workouts and so I know that it won't really let me get the full effect of the race, but I can kind of get a feel for the distance and the resistance while I'm riding on the trainer, you know, as I get a little bit better. Um, obviously, I can't get the feel for the elevation or things like that, but it'll just let me kind of get a sense of what the climbs will feel like from a resistance standpoint. Um, obviously and got a little bit carried away with the nutrition. Um, it's I know nutrition is really personal. It's all based on your body type and how your body responds to stuff. 
Um, honestly, I don't really know what I'm doing. So my approach to learning about nutrition was to just panic buy a little bit of everything. Um, so I think I got that covered with all of this. But yeah, in my crazy person sampler pack, I got gels, I got electrolyte mix for during the ride, I got um, some chews, recovery drink mix, waffles that I can keep, you know, on me while I'm riding. Really excited to try those. Uh, just basically a little bit of everything. Um, yeah, it's gonna be a process to figure out what works for me because I don't know anything about it. I just, I've tried a couple of things. Um, I think this might actually turn into a Scratch Labs stan account because the recovery drink mix is absolutely insane. So good, dangerously good, to the point where I might gain 100 pounds just drinking that when I should be drinking that. So, Scratch, if you ever see this, I really, really like that product. All right, so <clears throat> fixing head to the airport in about two and a half hours. Uh, I haven't packed yet, so I don't wanna get kitted up for a full ride. So I'm gonna hop on the trainer and uh, get in a quick workout. See you guys next week.